Quantum computation and quantum information promise to bring radical changes in vast areas of science and technology, with potential applications ranging from medicinal chemistry to cryptography and countless others. Soon after the theoretical discovery that quantum algorithms could perform certain tasks that were intractable for classical algorithms, physicists all over the world thought of ways to manipulate individual quantum particles to harness this potential. One such approach, proposed by Lawson de Vincenzo, argued that using the spins of individual electrons trapped in quantum dots as qubits, the quantum analog of a classical bit, could allow us to perform such quantum algorithms. Since then, a large global effort has ensued, first showing proof-of-principle experiments, but more recently pushing towards scalable arrays of quantum dots. One necessary component of such a quantum computer is a microwave magnetic field that drives single qubit rotations via electron spin resonance. The two most common methods to achieve these single qubit rotations are shown in the current slide. The first method is to place a microstrip line close to the device. The second method is to place a micromagnet near the device and apply local voltage pulses to induce electric dipole spin resonance. Crucially, both methods involve elements that are bulky compared to the scale of an individual quantum dot and are placed on the surface of the chip, taking up valuable space and preventing scalable, dense packing of qubits. To help eliminate this issue, we propose a microwave resonator design that produces a global magnetic field with minimal electric field over a relatively large area, based on a previous design by Diane and co-authors. This resonator can be placed above the quantum device layer, freeing space on the surface and removing the need for the microwave interconnects in the device layer. Individual qubits can be tuned in and out of resonance with this global field using the Stark effect, wherein the electronic G factor shifts slightly with electric field applied by local electrostatic gates. Coupling to an external microwave source to the resonator is achieved by an excitation strip line on the opposite side of a dielectric substrate. Simulations using HFSS show that a magnetic field on the order of a few millitesla over an area approaching one millimeter squared is possible, large enough to fit thousands of qubits which could all be individually addressed. Future work involves fabrication and characterization of these resonators, eventually moving on to integrated testing with quantum dots. In addition, shielding between the resonator and the quantum dot location may selectively attenuate undesired electric fields. Further investigations into this area are planned to achieve optimal single qubit rotation performance. I would like to acknowledge Alex Curry and Professor Jonathan Baugh. I would, like to, I would also like to acknowledge the Waterloo Institute for Nanotechnology and other donors for financial support.